Have you ever heard of the terms long day and short day breeders? If you haven't, these refer to seasonal species whose reproductive activities are influenced by the amount of daylight they receive, or photo period. These seasonal species are responsive to melatonin, a hormone produced by the pineal gland as a response to the declining amount of light that the animal receives. Melatonin suppresses the secretion of gonadotropin-releasing hormone in the hypothalamus, which in turn suppresses the release of follicle-stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone in the anterior pituitary gland. The production and secretion of melatonin occurs during periods with little or no light, during which it is converted from serotonin. This conversion is inhibited during increasing periods of light or daytime. Since less amounts of melatonin is converted, the release of gonadotropin-releasing hormone remains uninhibited, as well as the release of follicle-stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. The follicle-stimulating hormone maintains the growth and maturation of follicles. These growing follicles start to produce estrogen, which causes behavioral and physiological changes during the proestrus and estrus. Estradiol is also produced by the ovarian follicles, and together with inhibin, they suppress the secretion of gonadotropin-releasing hormones in the hypothalamus. In the anterior pituitary gland, estradiol inhibits the secretion of follicle-stimulating hormone to a greater extent than luteinizing hormone. On the other hand, the secretion of luteinizing hormone causes ovulation of the mature follicle and the formation of corpus luteum. The corpus luteum produces progesterone in preparation and maintenance of pregnancy. It also prevents the release of gonadotropin-releasing hormone in the hypothalamus so as to prevent new follicles from developing. One practical application of controlling seasonal reproduction involves manipulation of the animal's exposure to light. An example of this is done to mares where they are exposed to artificial lights for about 16 hours per day in order to simulate increase the length of daylight, beginning around the first day of December. This increased exposure inhibits melatonin in order to manipulate the early release of gonadotropin-releasing hormone and activation of the reproductive activity.